Hi friends, welcome back to another video. This week's video is gonna be another installment in what I have decided is going to be a series on my YouTube channel and that is the best of insert makeup product category. I have already touched on my top foundations, my top um, makeup brushes, specifically foundation brushes, makeup sponges, and more recently we talked about bronzers. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about concealers. Now keep in mind, concealers can be very personal depending on your preference, your skin type, your skin's maturity level, etc. So these are the concealers that I find work for me. Before we get into what the concealers are, I am going to be uh, ranking my concealers in terms of high-end and drugstore. I have three in each category to kind of give us some variety, but let me give you a bit of background on my skin type. I have combination skin that leans oily, mostly in the T-zone. I do have relatively oily eyelids and also um, I find that my under eyes can get a bit dry. I also do have some wrinkles and fine lines on my under eyes and I will say 99.9% .9 of concealers that I try will crease on me. So these concealers in my opinion are not 100% creaseless, they will crease, um, but these are the ones that I find have the least amount of creasing for my skin. And in terms of skin prep, I don't really do much to my under eye. I use a hydrating, depuffing um, eye cream that helps with dark circles. Every once in a while, I will color correct with a peach uh, color corrector because I do suffer from darkness under my eyes. With the concealers that I'm mentioning today, these are all concealers that I use without color correcting and that I also use with color correcting. So it just depends on um, how I'm feeling on the day I'm using them. Okay, so I feel like that was a really long intro. Um, let's go ahead and start off with, hmm, should we start off with the drugstore or with the high end? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the drugstore and I'm gonna start start at the very top and my number one drugstore concealer for not only for formula but affordability is definitely going to be the elf hydrating camo concealer this guy has been around for a while um, and so i'm sure you've seen it around it's six dollars which is a steal they also have the black cap camo concealer which is more of a uh, matte formula i did try that one and for me personally it did not work i feel like it really accentuated the dryness under my eyes and it just looked it just didn't look good on me but the hydrating one um, i really love you can see how much i've used it and i have this and I have this concealer in multiple shades. Um, it comes with a doe foot applicator, so pretty, pretty good size one. Resembles the Tarte Shape Tape doe foot applicator. It is pigmented, it is it gives you the coverage that you need. It blends well, it sits well under powder. I do set my under eyes. I usually use a translucent powder. Most of the time I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And so definitely my number one is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. My number two is from Beauty Creations and this is their Flawless Stay Concealer Full Coverage. This guy is $10 and you can get it at the Beauty Creations website. I will have to say this product has a very similar formula to the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. However, I feel like this one is just a smidge less hydrating, but not in a bad way. Um, it's a happy medium, I would say, between hydrating and quote unquote matte. I do have a full YouTube video reviewing this product, and so I'll go ahead and leave it in the card somewhere here so you can go check that out if you want more details. And my number three in the drugstore category um, is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Now this one is an oldie but a goodie. I'm sure a lot of us have used this product at least once have it in our collection. Um, this concealer out of the three that I'm mentioning in the drugstore is probably the more matte of um, the three. Actually it is the most matte out of the three. 
This one is right around $10 as well. Um, you can get it at Ulta, Target, Walgreens, pretty much any drugstore. And sometimes what I like to do actually is I like to use this concealer in combination with one of my more hydrating concealers, just depending on the weather outside, if it's really hot or humid or whatnot, and that way I can get a balance between the hydrating and the matte. One of the things that I'm not a huge fan of of this concealer is the applicator. It's not very hygienic, um, not really easy to use if you're using it on clients, so um, keep that in mind. Make sure you're always capping it and cleaning it as, and keeping it as clean as possible. Let's get into the high-end concealers. Um, and so for the high-end concealers, I am gonna start off from um, the top down. It's interesting to me, looking at my high-end concealers, they tend to be a bit more on the matte side compared to my drugstore concealers. Not quite sure why that is. And oftentimes I do mix them. So I'll use a high-end matte concealer with a hydrating drugstore concealer and just depends on what I'm feeling that day. So my number one in terms of high-end concealers is from Dose of Colors, and this is the Meet Your Hue Concealer. I have mine in the shade, um, I actually have two. I have in 116 medium tan, and I also have 113, uh, which I believe is a light medium. The 113 I need to replace. It's I've had it forever, and it just needs to be replaced, so I don't wanna show that one on camera, but this guy also comes with a doe foot applicator and you can see most of their applicators, most of the applicators of the concealers that I'm talking about is pretty much the same. Um, this one is again, a more matte finish. And so I find myself leaning towards this concealer if I'm going to a wedding or an event and I need that longevity and I need something to control the oils in the T-zone and under my eyes as well. So. There's multiple shades of this concealer and it goes for $24. My second favorite concealer um, is a newer favorite. When I say newer, I've had this for a few months, if not more, and this is from Jouer and this is their Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's a soft matte formula that includes hyaluronic acid. Here is the packaging. Also $24. The doe foot applicator on this guy is similar. Um, it's a little, I would say, thinner and slimmer compared to the other concealers that we're talking about. Um, but with this concealer, I love the shade of it. I have the shade, what do I have? Macadamia. And I love the undertone of this. So it gives me a little bit of that warm golden undertone, but also peachy undertone. So when I use this one, I feel like I don't necessarily need to color correct if I'm having a really bad dark under eye day. So check out my video if you want more details on this concealer. I also have a discount code with Jouer Cosmetics. It is Glitz by Day if you want to save 15% on your purchase. It is a affiliate code, so I do make a little bit of commission off of that if you choose to use it. And last but not least in our concealer roundup and in our high-end concealer roundup is, I'm sure you guys knew this was coming, um, is from Tarte. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape. However, this is the updated formula. It's the ultra creamy formula, not their original formula. Now, I did use their original formula for many years, um, but when I started to explore other concealer formulas um, and I found that the more hydrating concealer formulas work better for me and just overall made my foundation look more flawless, I stopped using it. Um, don't get me wrong, there is a time and a place for the original Tarte Shape Tape but I really enjoyed the ultra creamy formula. It gives me that hydration that I was looking for um, in the Tarte Shape Tape back to my under eyes. So we've got our you know classic doe foot applicator. We're all familiar with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm interested to know how many of you guys tried the ultra creamy and preferred it over the original formula. Leave me a comment below because I don't hear very many people talk about the ultra creamy formula and I'm just curious to see how many of us um, enjoy it. And I don't remember if I mentioned it, but I believe this one is around $30. So definitely the more expensive of the three high end concealers that we talked about. So that is our complete roundup of my top concealers. 
I hope you found this information helpful. I will go ahead and leave in the description um, the shades that I have in each of these concealers um, if that's helpful for you guys. I am of a light to medium skin tone. I have warm to golden undertone. So just in case that'll give you, hopefully that'll give you a better idea on what might work for you. Um, but most of these brands, at least with the high end um, concealers, I know the brands websites do have great shade finder um, tools on there. So if you're wondering or not sure, I would go ahead and check out their website or even you know send an email to their customer service and I'm sure they'd get back to you guys. And hopefully you hear back and they can give you a more accurate um, shade match. We've come to the end of today's video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Leila. Thank you for checking out my channel and specifically this video. I hope you stick around for my next upload. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.